So first of all, let me tell you what retina is. So the retina is the most important part of the eye. It is situated at the back side of the eye. On this retina, uh, the image is formed and the image then gets transferred via the optic nerve to the brain. So due to age or due to diabetes or due to certain conditions which affect the retinal blood circulation, which is called as vascular occlusion, it can affect the central part of the retina leading to loss of focusing power or leading to loss of central vision of a patient. And this can be controlled by the help of injections which are given inside the eye. There are six or seven types of injections and the price range can vary from say 10 to 15,000 to up to 60,000. Certain examples are Avastin, Lucentis, Accentrix, Ilia. These are all brand names and there are others also like Ozurdex and the newer one called as Brulu Sizumab. So these are the injections that are commonly available in the market nowadays. Yes, I do understand that uh, the concept of injections in the eye itself is very scary, but uh, we obviously use anesthetic eye drops to numb the eye and we also carry out this procedure in the operation theater under operating microscope so that it becomes absolutely painless and the patient is extremely comfortable while this procedure is being done. As I told you earlier that due to age or due to diabetes or in some cases of uh, retinal vessel occlusion, there can be a swelling on the back of the eye and this swelling needs to be controlled by giving these injections. So the advantage of taking injections is that it can stabilize your vision and in some cases it can even improve your eyesight. As you know, all treatment modalities in medicine have their own limitations, so obviously injections are no exception. So the limitations of this injection therapy are, first of all, you will have to take these injections periodically. Follow-up is equally important and your doctor may advise you to undergo certain tests like OCT or fluorescent angiography during the follow-up time. Also, there is a possibility that in addition to injection, some patients may require to undergo a laser treatment or even surgery in some cases. I am sure you would like to know if there are any complications associated with injections and the answer is yes but I must assure you that the treating doctor will take utmost precaution to prevent these complications and nowadays with the advance of advancements in the science and technology these complications have become less frequent. The complications include some patients experience redness in the eye, some patients also experience floaters in front of the eye for about a couple of weeks. Some patients may not benefit from the injection at all and in fact can report worsening of vision. Luckily, serious complications such as infection, bleeding or detachment of retina which are potentially sight threatening. These complications are rare but one must take precautions in the first week and therefore we will definitely advise you on what care should be taken in the first week following injection. Of course, this information is not complete and you may have still some more doubts and please feel free to ask me or your ophthalmologist about the doubts that you have and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you. So I would say uh, the mantra for these patients who require injections is start early and never give up because continuing the treatment is as important as starting the treatment early. Thank you.